Welcome everyone to Let's Go Out and About. And today we're at the Chippewa Nature Center in Midland, Michigan. And we're about to go on a hike. The Nature Center has over 19 miles of trails and we're going to go check them out. And we're inviting you to come along. So if you're ready, follow us. All right, so here's the Chippewa Nature Center Visitor's Center. They don't open till 12. Today is Sunday and it's only about 10 o'clock. So we'll come back and check out the visitor center when we're done hiking. All right, let's go check out some of these trails. All right, here's a map of the uh, nature center. And the first trail we're going to be going on is just over a mile and we got right over here I'm just going to follow this around the Aubrey and Meadow Mouse trails so they've tapped the maple tree and if you come and look right down into the bucket I don't know if you can see the level in there but they've got a ton of there you go ton of sap in there for some good old maple syrup you can see it dripping right here. Oh, and they got another one right over there. They probably tapped quite a few of them, I bet. Oh, you the can woodpecker. hear a woodpecker. Not sure how close I can get to the woodpecker up there going. Going to town. There he is. Sorry about being so shaky. All right. So this is a nature preschool where learning comes naturally. They've made these little lean tos like teepee-ish lean tos Yeah. Pretty cool. And there's a little overlook right here. Yeah, this is pretty. Beautiful. All right, so now we're heading to the Meadow Mouse Trail, which is going to be this way here. And if you continue on the paved, it's a loop that will bring you right back around to the uh, parking lot on the Aubrey Trail. The uh, Chippewa Nature Center has over 1,500 acres to explore. Ooh. 
We put the Pine River floods right over here. Yeah. Oh, it looks sure, sure it does. Yep. Got a couple of bat houses here along the trail. All right, just coming to the end of the Meadow Mouse Trail. And now we have to go back this way. Aubrey, is that how you say it? Aubrey, I guess. I'm not quite positive on how to pronounce it. All right, so our next trail we're going to try is the River Trail. The River Trail is supposed to be about three miles long. Oh, this is a wigwam. Yep. Seasonal camp. American Indians once lived here seasonally along the Pine River. Their homes were wigwams like this reproduction. All right, so now we're just going to follow this to the river trail, which is also right now part of the Chippewa Trail. Now, I do believe that the Chippewa Trail is all paved like this, all the way to the Tridge, which is in downtown Midland, which is a three-and-a-half-mile trail. And it's linear, correct? Right. So they make our turn now onto the river trail. And then if you kept on going, that's the Chippewa Trail, takes you to the Tridge. Yeah, check this out. Some noisy geese. Well, we have another overlook area right here on the river trail.
All right, so we just came upon this tree and it almost looks like there's a beaver trying to bring it down. You can see the, the chew marks. I don't know what he's thinking because this tree is pretty big. The water right there. Well, I guess we have to wish him luck. All right, as you can see, the little sign says, we are here. We still have to continue around. All right, let's go. Really pretty in here. Looks like that is the Oxbow River. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Oh, probably not. It looks like they just ran away, but there were a couple of deer out there. Oh, you see the tail. Looks like about five of them are out there. You can see them moving. Oh. There's a bench here that we are going to utilize right now. This is the Chippewa River. Checking out the water. Yep. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, cool. Having a good day? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Someone giving themselves a the bath out there. Six Island Pond. It's just a beautiful day today. It's not even any clouds in the sky. Some more buckets here for the tapping of the maple trees. And they got them going all the way down. Be kind of hard to see, but they're all down here. Got another one right here. Here's the sugar shack 
where they bring all the maple syrup. All right, we just came off the trail just to check something out over here. It looks like they have a log cabin and a barn and a homestead out here. This is the homestead area. Look, that looks like, I bet you that hill is an old root cellar. Yeah. In there. Black squirrel hanging in the tree there. That's pretty cool on the inside if you can see that. I'll try a different window. That's pretty cool. Well, that looks like a wash tub. Looks like this might be a kitchen. Well, here's a nice looking barn. Heirloom vegetables. This is really nice out here. And this building here is the corn crib. A little squeaky. No, I'm not sure what this is. Let's find out. Oh, here we go. It's a wagon barn. So this log cabin right here is a schoolhouse. School days. It's pretty nice. This, this is a chicken coop here. Really nice one. And this is an old root cellar.
All right, guys, we're back on the trail. As you can see right there, we are here, and it's almost done. Going back to the visitor center. Listen to the river flowing over those rocks. Beautiful spot. All right, guys, that ends the river trail loop. We're not going to be able to get to the other ones today. We're going to go hit the visitor center right now. But we'll come back and do the rest. All right, we're gonna head into the visitor center. Hi. Hey, this place is nice. Pretty nice in here. You see the turtle right there. But they ask you, is that a real turtle? There he is. What kind of a skull is this? Look at that, the giant beaver skull. It's a reproduction. Man, I hate to meet up with that. This is really nice in here. Ecosystem Gallery. Bass. Can you find 13 animals? An adult clam. How about babies riding on the bass? Let's see those little dots. Are those babies? Yeah. Ah. Uh, will the crayfish eat the fish eggs or will the bass eat the crayfish? What's that sound? The great blue heron.
about the wood duck. Beaver, when alarmed, it slaps its tail. Native Americans built canoes to move to and from seasonal camps. Western, Western fox snake. And there he is. You can't see him, but he's underneath all that wood. Oh, oh yeah! Now I see his sticking there out. There he is. Yeah. Ooh. Eastern, Eastern milk. milk snake. He's back oh, there. He's back there. Black bears in Midland County, seldom seen. Most black bears spotted in this area are young males that have been pushed out of their mother's territory. Well, there's some nature at work. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, venture, venture out. out.